Hello, everybody, and good morning. I am Allie Cobb, Director of Children's Youth and Families at St. John's United Methodist Church, and welcome to our daily devotional time. Today is Saturday, May 7th of 2022. Um, so my apologies in advance for popping on um, about an hour early today. Um, today is my goddaughter's graduation party, and uh, my husband and I are the designated um, whatever you need last minute things we will go out and get for you runners. <laughs> Um, and we ended up with a little bit of a list this morning, so we wanted to be able to run out and get those items before her party um, and everything. So I figured I would um, hop on here real quick um, to spend some time with you guys um, before um, I need to head out. So that way I'm not doing this um, on the road. Because <laughs> um, cell service isn't the greatest here, so with my luck, um, I would end up trying to do this from the road and there would be no cell service. Because um, it's about 45 minutes to get into town to get the items so um god bless ruralness i don't miss I, I i miss um city living so to speak um where you can just like hop out to the store and then hop back and everything we're here it takes a little bit more um coordination <laughs> so to speak so thank you everybody um for that flexibility today um so that i can spend some time with um good family friends and everything um, good morning, Shirley and Linda and Barbara and Chris. Thank you guys for hopping on early with me. I appreciate that. Um, if anybody's watching at our normal time or even a little bit um, later on today, if you wouldn't mind leaving a comment below, we always enjoy knowing that you stopped by. Um, today we will be in the book of Job. So if anybody has their Bibles with them and would like to follow along, we'll be in the book of Job chapter 38. Um, hopefully everybody is doing well this morning and having a good start to their weekend. Um, I know that we have a few St. John's folks that are um, a bit under the weather right now, so we'll say an extra prayer for them um, and quick healing as well today. But just keep those folks in your thoughts and prayers um, this weekend, and if there's anything that they might need, maybe reach out and see if you can be um, a friendly neighborhood DoorDash and leave supplies on their um, front porch. I know I did a little bit of that this week. So so just keep those folks in your thoughts. Okay, let us begin. So Job chapter 38 verses 1 through 11, and I will be reading out of the Common English Bible. Then the Lord answered Job from the whirlwind, Who is this a darkened counsel with your words lacking knowledge? Prepare yourself like a man. I will inaugurate you and you will respond to me. Where were you when I laid the earth's foundation? Tell me if you know. Who said its measurements? Surely you know. Who stretched a measuring tape on it? On what uh, were its footing sunk? Who landed its cornerstone? While the morning stars sang in unison and all the divine beings shouted. Who enclosed the sea behind doors when it burst forth from the womb? When I made the clouds, it garmented the dense clouds it wrapped. When I imposed my limits for it, put on a bar and door, and said, You may come this far, no further were your proud waves stopped. And our focus verse for today is, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for your welfare and not for harm, to give you a future with hope. Jeremiah 29 11 of the NRSV. And our thought for today is, I will trust God's a good plan for my life. And our prayer focus is to trust God's plan for me. And our author for today, um, let me see if I can see who our author is. I don't see if, I am not seeing it online um, with our da online daily devotional. It's always printed. Oh, here it is. Sorry. Um, I think I mentioned this um, when I did devotion on Thursday. I packed my book. I know I packed my um, paper copy of the online or of the, our daily devotion, but now I can't find it um, and everything else that I um, packed for us to be out of town. So I'm doing it from my laptop. Um, but our um, devotion today comes from Samuel Wagner of California. California. And these are his thoughts for today. The land of what is. I told my new roommate said that the renovations to our rented apartment would be complete before school started. But there we were, with a week of online school behind us and still no apartment. I felt responsible and blamed myself. What if I had committed to more with our landlord? What if I had what if I had communicated more with our landlord? What if I had found another place as a backup? What if, what if, what if? It is easy to get caught up in the land of what if. 
But as I thought over scripture, I remembered the words from Jeremiah's from Jeremiah quoted above and God's words to Job. Who is who is this that darkness counsels by word without knowledge? Job 38, 2. And who am I to put my plans above the Lord's? But when I dwell in the lands of what ifs, I put my own plans and abilities before my trust in God. If I truly believe that God has great plans for me, I should stop asking what if and trust God. Now as I sip warm coffee at the breakfast table in my completed apartment, happily moved in with my roommates, I try my best to live in the land of what is, the place where God lives. Um, so when thinking about today's um, devotion and everything, the what ifs, what ifs, what ifs, um, I know I'm one of those people. I'm always thinking, should I have done more? Should I have communicated more? What if I did this versus that? Um, and I try not to think too much of the past and I try to focus on the future, but that's one thing that I have always struggled with. I will continue to struggle with, and I'm going to keep working at it, um, of the what ifs, um, and they can drive you absolutely nuts, the what ifs. And you get to a point where you just have to know, and our author said what is, but I always say it is what it is. Um, I tried my best, I tried my hardest, and sometimes there's only so much that you can do and then it is what it is. Um, there's a bigger, greater plan out there um, and I'm just kind of along for the ride. We like to think that we're in control, but we're really not. Um, and when thinking about um, specifically today, um, our sweet goddaughter, she graduates tomorrow at two o'clock. We're so excited to see her. Um, but with our prayer focus be to trust in God's plan for me, um, I remember her when she was little itty bitty. Um, I actually taught her Sunday school class when she was four years old and she was the flower girl at our wedding. And she has all of these plans of what she's gonna do this summer in the college that she's gonna go to. Um, and me having a little bit more of life experience than her, I know that she's going to have such a great and wonderful time, but she's about to start um, the adult portion of her life in that ride. Um, and part of what I've told her is, you know, just trust in God's plan for you. Um, you can do your best to plan, um, but whenever we make plans, God laughs, so to speak, because God has a bigger plan for us. Um, and we can do our best in everything to follow God's plan, um, but it's going to differ from what we had envisioned for ourselves. Um, and you can get caught up in the, what if I had done this and what if I have done that? Um, but in my life, whenever I've been able to look back um, on those hard learning, painful moments, so to speak, where the things that didn't turn out to m my plan, they were part of God's plan, um, I'm almost always able to look back with a little bit of happiness and gratitude that it was God's plan and not mine, his will to be done, not mine. Um, that the, it, it is what it is actually worked out better than what I had planned or envisioned. And my goodness, I am so thankful for that. <laughs> Um, so when going um, forth today and this weekend, I know a lot of people are graduating. Uh, I know we have some sick folks at St. John's, but it's also Mother's Day weekend. Um, and just knowing that God has a plan for all of us. Um, last Sunday was Bereavement Mother's Day for those women that um, have lost a child or were unable to have a child. And then this Sunday is Mother's Day. And that can also be a painful time for um, a lot of women and families because um, they should have a child there with them or maybe they wanted more children there with them. And that can be a hard time. And even though it wasn't a part of your plan, for some reason it was part of a different plan, it can still be hard. Um, so maybe also to just going forth this weekend and everything, if you know um, of anybody in that boat um, who has either lost a child or was unable to have um, the children that they had hoped and dreamed and vision for, maybe just kind of reaching out and just letting them know that you see them too on um, this weekend, that um, it's not just for mothers, um, it's for anybody with um, motherly love and care and instinct. Um, you can be a mother figure without actually being that person's mother. Um, I know for my goddaughter and everything, um, even though we have no blood relation, she always calls me Aunt Allie um, because I'm part of her family, which is just so awesome and sweet because her and her brother are just two. They've turned out so great and wonderful. And Travis and I, we are just so proud of them and where they're going in their lives um, and everything. So 
even though I'm not technically her mom, um, I'd step in and be her mom in a second. So if you have anybody like that in your life to this weekend, um, that God has put you in somebody's life as a part of um, God's plan to be that motherly figure um, to anybody, make sure to reach out to them and let them know that you love them and are thinking about them this weekend. Um, let us close and finish our devotion today in prayer. Dear Lord, Thank you for the amazing, great, good plans that you have for us. Help give us strength and trust in you that you know the way. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you, everybody, for letting me pop on a little bit early. I hope you have a great rest of your Saturday. Have a great Mother's Day to all of the mothers and mother figures um, in our lives tomorrow. Um, and I will see you all back in Kansas City shortly. Take such care. Bye-bye.